Hello there, boys and girls. So today we have a super, super fun lesson. If you guys liked the snowman last week, then you were going to love this little guy. You guys ready to see? We are going to make little reindeer. They are so, so, so cute. Um, so you need black crayon, red crayon, um, watercolors. <laughs> I was like, uh, watercolors. And that's it. Black crayon, red crayon, watercolors. Yes, white paper. Let's get started. All right, boys and girls. I cannot wait for this one. It is just so cute. It is unbelievable. So first thing we need to do is we need to make our reindeer's little head. And I am going to make it kind of a um, ovally square type of a shape. <laughs> Is that a shape? I think so. All right, so let's go ahead and give him some antlers. So we're gonna come up this way and I'm gonna go over that twice and up that way and over it twice. That way it's just a little thicker in the middle. And then we're just gonna give him some little straight lines for antlers. I'd say two on one side and one on the other, maybe. Maybe three on each side or two. Something like that would be fine. All right, and then let's give them some little ears. One, two. And that's not enough. We need to, sorry, I'm making my other little ant a little thicker. There we go. Okay, inside the ant or inside the ear, we're gonna make another little one. That way can, we can give them a little color. Okay. We're gonna give them really cute big eyes. Nice ovals. Okay. And we're gonna make them look off to one side and down. So to do that, he's gonna be really cute making a cute little face. He's gonna look over. Let's put little circles. Both of them are gonna be on the right hand side. You see that? So it's not in the middle. They're both off to this side and down. So they're not really in the middle. They're not at the bottom middle. They're at the bottom off to one side. You could do them both off to the other side. That's okay. But do them both go in the same way, okay? And then, of course, we need a red nose for reindeer. Aw, how cute. And our reindeer has to have a scarf, right? Since we just learned to draw some scarves last week. I think I did them in most of my classes. So this time we're gonna do the scarf before the neck. So we're gonna make a little rectangle, little floating rectangle down here. Okay, and then from the rectangle, we're gonna have a piece that comes out. Doesn't matter how long, that's one piece of your of your scarf and then let's just make another piece kind of going out this way just like that boop 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 look how cute and if you wanted to go and like make the little edges rounded that's cool too and then let's just go ahead and give them a little skinny neck so that's two lines between the neck and the scarf and then we have to pretend like doo -doo 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 -doo. it continues. There's the rest of his neck. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There's the rest of his neck. Going right off the page. How cute is he? I love it. And now we get to paint him. Oh, actually we don't yet. One more thing. So Rudolph really needs a proper red nose. And as we know, our watercolors are sometimes a little more pink than they are red. So I want us to take our red crayon and go ahead and give Rudolph a really nice red nose. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint over this also, but we'll really get a nice red color if we use the crayon first, okay? Nice and red. There we are. Okay, now we're ready to paint. <laughs> and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna paint his little ears, okay? So to do his ears, we do want them rather pink. So we're gonna use a lot of water and just a tiny little bit 
of red. Just a little. So sometimes I like to kind of blot mine off here. Can you get this in there? I blot it off in the top of my watercolor palette to make sure it's not too bright. And then I can put a little bit on his ears, on the inner part of his ears. Okay? Just like that. So cute. Now I am going to go ahead and paint the rest of his face and his ears and his neck in my brown color. My brown is pretty saturated, bright, very, very strong color. So I'm actually going to do what I just showed you with the red. I'm going to do that with my brown also. I'm going to kind of make my own watered down brown over here. But you guys, with if you're, ah, if you're using the, um, watercolor palette from school, your brown is such a nice kind of lighter color of brown already. So you don't really have to do this that I'm doing. And then we just kind of want to evenly color or paint in our cute little reindeer. I just think he is the cutest. Remember when your paintbrush starts to start making noise, it's talking to you with that little scratchy scratchy you got to get more paint and water, right? And you can always go back and add more color, but just go ahead and get a wash of color on all of him first. And then you can always go back if you need to, but the trick is to not get too stuck overdoing it on the first go the first coat, right? As you can see, guys, I'm using the side of my brush, right? I'm still holding it normal, but I'm really using the side of it to cover this space faster than just using the teeny tiny tip. Like, look, I can make tiny little lines with this also, or I can really fill that whole space in one pass. Right? Look how cute he is looking already. Okay, and the ears. Ears are a little darker in my case. They just happen to be, but that's okay. Okay. Do, do, do. Now, I am going to let you guys choose whatever color you want to make your scarf. But I am going to say that I want us to have a green background, a mostly green background. So that maybe changes what color you want to make your scarf. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and make mine in red because I love red. As you can see, I'm wearing red today on my Christmas sweater, which is actually Fisher's Christmas sweater. <laughs> I borrowed it from him. <laughs> he doesn't know that yet though. I'm going, normally I like to bring my little fringe outside the lines, but because I'm gonna do my background in green, I'm gonna just leave it right inside this time because I want my background to kind of go in between those little fringy pieces, right? And you can color it all solid. I'm also gonna go back over and put a couple lines in it just for fun. Just some little hit, you know, kind of dainty ones, can't really tell. And then I'm just gonna, like I said, go right over his nose that we already colored because now it'll just kind of fill in any of those white spaces and it'll just be a brighter shade of red than if we had just gone in. You can see, this is just the paint, and this is the paint over top of the crayon. And it's definitely different. I don't know if you can tell as much on the screen as you can in person, but it is a very, very different color of red. All right, so here's the deal. When you are done with this part, oh my gosh, look at how cute they are, I love them. Um, you can, let, you know, maybe walk away, have a little drink of water or something or a snack, and then come back to this once it's just a little bit dry. You don't have to, doesn't have to be 30 minutes or anything, but just a few minutes, and then just put in, put on a little bit of water and just a little bit of green. Here, let's say I should have made my green first. 
in the background. Okay, just a little bit of really light watery green. Again, I put it in my top so that I can make a nice light green and not a super vibrant, right? So the way we get light colors and watercolor is just to add more water, right? So if it's too bright, if you get your paper, your um, paintbrush on the paper and you're like, ah, it's too bright, you can always just go in with more water. Ooh, I've got a little purple kind of creeping in there. But it doesn't have to be the exact same shade of green all the way around top to bottom. I kind of think it's fun when you've got sections that are darker and sections that are lighter. But definitely do something in the background like this. You can play around. Maybe you want to do dots or maybe you want to do lines or maybe you want to do like Christmas tree type strokes but please do make it green. You choose the water or the scarf color. Miss Norton gets to choose the background color. Seems like a fair trade to me. Right? And of course, you guys know the deal. If you don't have a brush this big, you can use the one like I was just showing you using it on its side. But for time's sake, because um, pre-recording videos, it's hard when they're really long, so. There we are. Look how absolutely adorable this guy is. I'll put just a little more up here. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a wonderful break with your families. And I cannot wait to see you guys next year. Have a good time. Bye.